The subcompact car segment is really heating up, with new or heavily refreshed models from most of the major automakers. Kia is one of those automakers with the 2012 Rio. Hi, I'm Joel with Gear Media, and today we're going to review the 2012 Kia Rio. The Rio may be made by a Korean car company, but European designers draw European looking cars, and that's exactly the case of the Rio, especially the five door. Now, swept back front end, a lot of body sculpting, and large C pillars make for a very sharp looking compact sedan. All Rio models feature Kia's signature new grille, but on the hatchbacks it's trimmed in black, where on sedans it's actually trimmed in chrome. Now we actually must say that sculpting and everything aside, the sedan version of the Rio may be the best looking sedan subcompact bar none. As much as the exterior of the Rio will surprise you, the interior is even better. We especially like the design, these little toggle switches that are kind of like airplane style, and certain models have soft touch dashboards. Now our tester has Kia's Yubo system, which is similar to Microsoft's Sync system and found in Fords. It's voice activated, it pairs with your smartphone, and can be used over Bluetooth or USB. Now, unfortunately, it's a small screen and you can't have navigation and Yubo in the same car. Yes, Kia does tell us that's coming, but for now you have to make a choice. While the back seats aren't exactly large, two adults will fit comfortably for short trips around town. Two roller boards will fit in the back end easily, and you double your cargo capacity by easily folding the rear seats. Safety-wise, the Rio features dual front, side, and curtain airbags along with analog brakes and stability control. The Rio also features Hill Star Assist to make city driving easier. Bluetooth and backup camera are available, and we highly recommend them for safer driving. Now, every 2012 Kia Rio is powered by a 1.6 liter GDI four-cylinder engine. That is 138 horsepower powering the front wheels, six-speed automatic transmission or six-speed manual. Now the six-speed manual, Kia believes will only be optioned on about 5% of the Rio sold, and we believe that's a fair number. EPA ratings for this car are 30 miles per gallon in the city and 40 on the highway. Although for 400 extra dollars, you can get a automatic start-stop feature, which will raise your EPA rating to 31 in the city, one more mile per gallon. The engine is never thrashy, and we'd say it's actually quite quick off the line, losing steam as the revs climb. Steering loads up as you go through corners and it gets weighted, but it does have the electric steering feel numbness. Now, the handling is worlds better than the last generation Kia Rio, but we still feel the Chevrolet Sonic is a little more fun to drive if we're going to be real frank. So what's the bottom line with 2012 Kia Rio? It's a very Euro chic looking subcompact. Well, now it's fun to drive is the Chevy Sonic with a base price of just over $13,000 and a tested price over $18,000. It's a terrific value and it's safe and practical. I'm Joel Hagier Media, and this is our review of the 2012 Kia Rio.